on YouTube. Oh my god. This is not a purposeful thumb hole, by the way. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. But either way, I'm gonna take my thumb out and let's <laughs> get started with the video. Hi guys. Welcome to 2018. Me as if I have like any ownership. <laughs> of this year. I know I already posted a video this year, but this is the first video that I am actually filming in the year 2018, and it's a really special one. No, but for real, I wanted to talk about a couple of things to kick off the new year, and this all has to do with YouTube. This is not gonna be a boring video, I promise, so please watch it. If you watch one video of mine in your entire life, make it this one, but uh... Watch all of them. <laughs> all right, where do I start? A few days ago, it was my nine year anniversary on YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, I know it's a very great accomplishment. Please hold your applause. It's honestly very rude because I'm talking right now. I'm 21, so that means that's basically half of my life, which is crazy. And when I started posting videos on YouTube, it was such a different place than it is now. I mean, you first of all, you couldn't even make money really off of YouTube. There were like a lot of strict guidelines. You had to have a certain number of subscribers, a certain number of viewers, and for that reason, I didn't make money off of my videos until I had like around 40,000 subscribers, which is a lot of subscribers, especially back then. That alone says a lot about why I started YouTube. You know, I started it because it was fun. It was what I loved doing. It was a good ass, bomb ass time. And then I started to make money off of it. And I was like, sweet, I can do something I love and it can be my job. I'm in. But then fast forward to 2017. Last year was a crazy year on YouTube for multitious, multer, multi, multiple reasons. Obviously it's multiple, like Sometimes I make up bigger words that are not even actual words. Anyway, but a big thing that really got to me was I feel like a lot of YouTube's foundation has just changed. You know, back when I started making videos, like I just said, it was hard to make money. So a majority of the people who made videos weren't doing it to make money. Now it's different, which is great, you know, cool. Congrats YouTube, like let's go get it, ooh. But with like this different, you know, idea of what YouTube can be and what it is, there are now so many more people on the platform who are making videos just to make money. And it created like this crazy community, I guess it might be the word, where everyone who is a creator is trying to make the most insane and extreme content they can to get people to watch it. Hence, clickbait became a thing. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really the type of person who wants to like, I don't know, buy a house and like blow it up for a YouTube video just cause a lot of people will watch it, you know? It just sounds stupid. And I don't know if anyone's actually done that. I'm just using that as an example because you know, that's the kind of content that was being posted. YouTube just became a place where I, I like felt like I didn't necessarily belong anymore and it just got a little bit overwhelming for me in my head and I really like fell off of YouTube. I don't know if it showed, <laughs> hopefully it didn't show, but I was feeling it. Suddenly YouTube wasn't as much fun for me anymore and for me it stressed me out. Suddenly it was like I gotta make a video with a fucking dumb ass fucking title so people will watch it and you know I'm still probably gonna do that for this video. <laughs> But that's besides the point. My my point is, I just got a little bit discouraged with YouTube. It became less fun for me. And I want that to change this year. It is going to change this year. I just want to get back to myself and like be myself and make the content that I want to make, which doesn't have a point. You know, it's just here to entertain you guys and make you laugh. And I think part of the reason why I got so caught up in it is because I was getting a lot of comments being like, your videos have no point. They never did. <laughs> I know people do crazy shit now, but I'm not gonna do that because that's just not what I wanna be doing. I wanna sit down and I wanna like connect with you guys. I wanna talk, I wanna hang out. And I guess that's why I wanted to make this video because I just wanted to let you guys know that I am just going to have fun with YouTube this year. And I know I can easily do that if I just like relax, which last year I was not relaxed. I was stressing. Anyway, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying or trying to get at here. I just really wanted to talk about this because it's been weighing very heavily on my mind and you know, we're going into a new year. New year, new me. 
here I am. And yeah, I do want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me for these past nine years on YouTube. I never thought in a million years when I started making videos that I would be doing it for this long or that it would be my career. And I'm so lucky and thankful and happy that it is. And it's all because of you guys. And I just want to make content that you guys love and you're proud of and that's what you can look forward to in 2018. I promise. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me. I love you so much. I don't know why I'm doing like the symbol for like going to sleep. I love you so much. <laughs> Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let's talk. I want to talk about this. What are your thoughts on YouTube? Who are you watching going into 2018? And anything else you want to talk about because yeah, just let's talk. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next Saturday with another new video. Bye guys.